Florida, the good and the bad. Well, first with the good, uh, the best thing about Florida is the weather, uh, specifically in the winter, because that's when the humidity levels go down and it's just a gorgeous. Uh, right now, it's the middle of January. Uh, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, sunny with very little humidity. I am in Southeast Florida, my favorite part of Florida. So uh, one negative part about Florida, the bad, is that there are many different parts of Florida. You just heard me reference, I'm in Southeast Florida. Many people, when they think of Florida, they either think of Miami, uh, South Beach, Orlando, Disney World, but what they don't realize is most of the state is rural land. It's agricultural land, meaning farmland. Uh, and it's just open land, farming culture, deep south culture. On the coast, both the east and the west coast is where you're going to find most of the population. So if you're just researching online and maybe you're just looking for the cheapest part of Florida, you may end up in the wrong part of Florida. So that could be the bad, uh, because there are bad neighborhoods in Florida. Don't just think that everything is where I'm standing, tropical paradise. The good, uh, the good is cost of living on average is lower. Now, cost of living meaning, you know, your housing costs uh, and just general essentials for life. However, uh, pay scale is lower. That's the bad. We're talking about the good and bad in Florida. So cost of living may be a little bit lower with regards to property tax and maybe even real estate. However, the pay scale is lower, uh, sometimes up to 25, 40% lower, et cetera. Uh, and that uh, also may play a part in school systems, may not be as good. The good. The good is the quality of life is better. So, you know, you may not have the best public schools per se, but you may have a better a better quality of life and there's a dog running up to me you may have a better quality of life you know for example right now i'm in a public park and uh it's the middle of january and a dog just ran up to me um you know i'm in a family park it always happens when you make a youtube video people start screaming dogs start happening but either way you know the, the good is the the quality of life you know um that you're outdoors you're enjoying life more you're not housebound and so that makes up uh maybe for other things that florida doesn't have um, the bad. The bad is hurricane season. Look, hurricane season is a big negative because, you know, you're going to be at more at risk with your home. You're going to be, um, you know, you're going to maybe have to travel outside the state or travel to a shelter if the storm is really bad. And that could be a bad part of about Florida negative. Uh, and the weather is certainly very hot and humid in the summer. So, you know, again, that's the bad. The good is that's only a couple months out of the year, and even if you lived in a northern state, you would have to deal with snowstorms. So, or uh, if you lived in California, you have to deal with wild wildfires. If you deal, if you lived in Oklahoma, you'd have to deal with tornadoes. So every state is going to have a, like a season, whether it's hurricane season, snow season. Every state is going to have a season where there's bad weather. So the good part about Florida is even though it's hurricane season you're still able to be outdoors, you know, unless there's an actual hurricane that's hitting. So most of the hurricane season, which stretches, you know, from about July to October, and it really is the worst between August and September. But during hurricane season, unless there's a storm, you know, you're still outside because it's still hot weather. Um, and the good is, again, you got a lot of beach land uh, all throughout the state. There's, uh, it's a peninsula. It's, it's surrounded on all three sides by beaches. I'm at a beach park now. And you may hear kids in the background and families playing. So, you know, the outdoor activities are, are the good part. Uh, the bad part would be if you like outdoor activities such as like a snowing or sledding, or if you like to change the seasons, Florida's not for you. Florida's endless summer, meaning all year round, even in the winter when the temperatures uh, get lower uh, and the humidity gets lower, it's still relatively summer weather. It's 83 degrees. Now, if you go to North Florida, you're going to have a little bit more mild climate, but you're not going to have the tropics. You know, you're going to have more of a country feel. South Florida is more of the tropical Caribbean feel. So, you know, those are some good and some bad things uh, that I would just want to share with you in this video from someone who grew up in New Jersey, uh, moved to Florida within the past couple years. And uh, I just want to share that with you and share the sites, uh, share my thoughts. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed a little bit. If you did, click that thumbs up button. 
share the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next one.